guys, how's it going? Today we're planting up three different container combinations for full sun out in our garden. I've got all the plants grouped together here. We're following Proven Winners National Recipes of the Year for 2023. That's what they call them. We typically grow them one year ahead of schedule just to get some experience with the grouping of plants because oftentimes they're pairing together things that I haven't thought to pair together. And I think that's kind of the whole goal is just to give you ideas and inspiration. But that way we can get some experience and share with you how they've done for us. So these are going into fairly key areas in our garden too. I'm really excited about it. And I do have a picture here, which as I'm thinking about it, we could probably pop a picture up on the screen It'll be a little bit better than my printed picture here of what we're hoping to attain like the results we're hoping to attain out of each one of these uh, arrangements so let's start with this one here first so this one is called misty seas if you were to plant them in a hanging basket and this goes for all of them you would probably use those three plants without this centerpiece plant that they suggest we're going to be planting them all in containers on the ground so i am going, going to be using the centerpiece plant but what we have here are all supertunia mini vistas so if you have a super Petunia in the Vista series, whether it's a mini Vista or a regular Vista, they're exceptionally great for landscape planting, like in a flower bed, in the ground, uh, and in containers as well, like we're going to be doing today. In fact, we planted this one, the mini Vista Indigo, down at our local community college last year, and it did so well. It grew beautifully. We got tons of compliments on it. And the unique part about this plant is that you don't really see it now, but as it starts to grow and uh, as you get further into the season, this plant takes on three different colors. So you'll see flowers in that deep indigo color, then you'll see kind of medium purple and then a light lavender. In fact, I think it was almost named yesterday, today, and tomorrow, but it was kind of a long name for a flower. But it was a really, I think a great name uh, for this one, but it just performed beautifully. Then this one here is a mini Vista Violet Star, which kind of marries these two flowers in color. You've got the white flower with the purple stripes right there, kind of a smaller daintier flower, which is nice. It's a little bit of a textural difference and it almost has kind of like a little notch. Like it's a little bit, uh, well, or it appears to be more finely cut on the edge than the others, even though I think the other ones have that but you just notice it in this one more. And then we have Supertunia Mini Vista White, which this one is just, you can already tell, like look at this plant. You can tell it's wanting to go for it. So it'll be exciting to see what happens. And then the centerpiece plant here is a juncus called Blue Mohawk. So if you get close on this plant, look at the shape of the leaves, they're like tubes. They're round, really interesting really soft and they'll grow two to three feet tall so i think that'll be a really fun centerpiece uh, for this arrangement this next one is actually my favorite this is called acapulco uh, sun right yeah acapulco sun love the colors here i like kind of the warm pinks we've got a super bells called coralina which is a really bright saturated coral with that yellow throat and kind of like a deeper almost red right around where the throat starts so that brings a little bit of a bright touch to the flower. Then we have Supertunia Bermuda Beach, which this is a little bit like if you were to put it up next to the Vista Bubblegum, you would definitely be able to tell that this is on the warmer side of pink. So it's got more of that salmon kind of coloration and I love that. Then we have Superbina Peachy Keen, which you can see in each bloom group here, you've got different colors as well. So you have the lighter peach, then the little bit deeper and then almost the orangey color in the center. And this one you can tell is a little bit newer, but then you get a really interesting, really varied look from just one plant. And then for our centerpiece, we have Stratosphere White Gara. Isn't that gorgeous with these flowers? Once this grows and fills in, Gara gets big, you guys. I can't remember the exact size on this one. Maybe we can put it on the screen, but it will be a beautiful striking centerpiece and they bloom all summer long. The last one here, this they call Rock and Rush, which I think they got from combining the two names of these plants right here. Because we have Goldilocks Rocks Bidens, and then we have Supertunia Raspberry Rush. So Rock and Rush. But this Supertunia bright pink with the yellow margin and the white, or not yellow, white. What am I thinking? <laughs> white margin and white striping, but we pair it with the bright yellow. Goldilocks Rocks Bidens, which this is kind of like a semi-double. It's got the petals up here and then kind of overlapping petals down below. Blooms all season long, but the cool part about this plant, not only the flowers, but it's got a really fine kind of ferny leaf structure and I love that. Just brings a different look to your container and the spent blooms, 
don't detract from the plant at all. And none of these have to be deadheaded, by the way, in order for them just to keep on blooming their heads off. But I love it when spent blooms, especially on daisy-like flowers, don't detract from the overall look of the plant and these don't it's awesome and then we have a superbina called a stormburst and you guys this plant is a beast so we've had this in containers but we also planted it in the landscape at the end of our west side garden in in the ground and those plants were subjected to well, full sun all day long they didn't get a break from it which is really what all of these plants really thrive with but it was also subjected to all kinds of wind and blowing dust and all kinds of environmental things that were just tough i would think tough on most plants these just <laughs> they seem to love it um, and they just got huge and full of color Centerpiece plant here, Skyrocket Penicetum, which is really awesome because this is a thick, really striking grass. But if you were to plant, I think like a purple fountain grass as opposed to the green with the white stripe, I think it might be a little bit more of a contrast difference and it might detract a little bit because I think it might fight to be the, the star of the show as opposed to like the flowers being the star. But I think that this will bring the dramatic height and texture while not taking away from the beautiful bright color of all these flowers. Okay, so we are gonna take these out and get them all planted so we can show you where they're gonna go for this whole summer. The first set are gonna go in the pots right in front of our raised bed vegetable garden. So let's go around and take a look at how these turned out. These I knew would be my favorite and they definitely are. They look so perfect up against this black picket fence. I haven't watered anything in yet, but we did start with 100% fresh soil. And then I put a slow release fertilizer in there. And then, oh, these are just so pretty. I love the use of agara as a centerpiece. It's just a little bit different than what you normally see. And I love that. And I love the fact that there's a little bit of pink at the base which really ties in well with the Supertunia Bermuda Beach. So I used two of each, two Bermuda Beach, two Coralina Superbells, and two Peachy Keen. Same on that side. Let's head to the front of the house. Misty C's recipe right up here. I love the look of these colors in these pots. I like really pretty much anything in these wicker containers. We've had these for a lot of years and usually I have to stain them every season at least one time and I got all my stuff out today but honestly I think that they look really good I like there's the slight wear uh, that they have a worn patina uh, but we've got the one juncus grass in the center two of the mini vista indigos two of the violet stars two of the white and I think they're just beautiful and purple is one of my favorite flower colors so it's kind of a fun one to have right up in front of our house and the last set are by our dumpster actually. <laughs> so our dumpster is actually inside this enclosure which does hide it really well um, and the doors swing open and attach to this post if we want to have easier access to the dumpster uh, but these are the gallery scroll urns from Unique Stone. They are massive but I needed something big that would make a statement that would show up out here and I honestly I chose this out of all three of the recipes I chose this one specifically for this spot because I think the yellow and this bright how saturated this pink is I thought that they would really show up really well out here kind of in an island of not much going on out here I mean we've got the arbs right behind but other than that it's just kind of driveway area so I just wanted something bright and striking so we've got the one skyrocket penicetum right here 
which, you know, these create the most gorgeous seed heads on the top. In fact, a lot of, of times I cut them off and use them in fall arrangements. Uh, and then we've got two of each again, two of the Supertunia Raspberry Rush, two of the Goldilocks Rocks Bidens, and two of the Stormburst Superbina. They are building a house next door. That's what all the noise is. <laughs> Usually construction noise would get a little bit old after a while, but this hasn't bothered me at all because the people moving in are the most lovely people ever. And they've been really good customers at the garden center forever. I'm actually excited to have them as neighbors. So build away. So anyway, guys, that is it for today's video. I was just really excited to get these planted. I mean, that's just more containers checked off the list that are done, that are looking really good. It makes me happy to walk by and see even a little bit of color. And as soon these will be huge. So I've said it a lot of times, but for plants that are high performance plants like these that you want a ton of color out of, a lot of growth, you do need to keep them on a consistent fertilizing schedule. We try to shoot for once a week. We use uh, the water soluble fertilizer from Proven Winners and have for the last several years. Um, anyway, keep them on a consistent schedule. Keep them consistently watered. These pots, we're actually going to have to rerun the drip here uh, because they got broken off last year. So I'm going to come out and get these all fixed up so that they will be getting consistent water every single day. Other than that, just I'm excited to enjoy the color from these containers. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.